Hey guys, it's Sarah Joy. Welcome back to my channel. This week I have a fun project that I'm taking on in our bathroom. Uh, when we moved in, I uh, didn't really care for the medicine cabinet that was in there and um, that was also something that I was happy to shelf because we didn't really have the bandwidth to take on a little project like that but um, now I feel like I've had a good time to stare at it and figure out what I want to do with it so come along with me as I take this dated medicine cabinet and turn it into something prettier so here we go so I will say, first of all, this bathroom has already come a long way. When we first moved in, um, it was definitely, it definitely needed some help. We'll just say that. Um, it had a completely different countertop and um, a different light fixture and a different mirror on the wall. And then on top of that, just like the um, older looking like shower curtain and everything and beige paint on the wall. So we've already done a lot in here. Um, and I really like how it looks right now. So I painted the cabinetry, changed the light fixture, changed the mirror. Um, we replaced the countertop. I replaced the sink. There's a video of me doing some light plumbing. Um, and then painted the walls and uh, hung up a towel rack. So those are all the things that you've seen me do so far. So um, I'll give you a quick preview of what the bathroom looked like before and then Let's jump into where we're at. Is the guest bath. Bathtub, shower, it's got a full setup. One thing we noticed about the house in general was just how well taken care of it was. I don't think anybody's ever used this before, to be honest. So Sarah, tell us, what are you imagining for this update? Um, okay, so for this one, you know I haven't decided. The countertop is gonna get changed eventually, obviously. Not really a big fan of the chrome. Update the mirror, update that and then paint that. So basically all different, but it's not that drastic. All right, and then here is where we are at now, looking so, so much better. So this right here is the mirror, or the medicine cabinet in question. So it's silver and um, I don't feel like I need surround sound, so to speak, mirrors, um, <laughs> because also this one's round, this one's rectangle, so I don't really like that. Also, this one's gold, this one's silver. It's that chrome that was everywhere in here before. So I want to go ahead and do something with it, but I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do at first, and so we've just left it like this. But now I'm ready to take this project on, so let me show you what I'm going to do. So I went to Lowe's and I got these pieces of half round trim. So they look like this on the end. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them down to sections that match uh, what the mirror is at right now. And I'm gonna do kind of like this fluting on top of the mirror. So it's gonna look like this. And then I plan on painting it the same color as the cabinetry. Now, um, a lot of people do this and they attach it with a brad nailer, but since I can't do that since it's a mirror, I am going to attach it using this Gorilla Heavy Duty Construction Adhesive because it says it is for mirrors specifically and also for wood, which is also somewhere on here. <laughs> wood. So that should be the ticket to attaching these. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and measure these off and cut them to size. I have seven pieces here, which should be more than enough. And each one is gonna get, I think, a good solid four cuts because it's an eight foot piece. So I'm definitely gonna get four cuts and then there's gonna be like a good amount of excess. So probably about that much excess on each one. So I'll have all of those pieces for a future project. Um, and then I have another piece just as like a buffer to work with. So I good, should have a good amount of extras left over maybe for something else. Um, but we're gonna get started on this. So I'm gonna get all of those, and then I'm probably going to take the mirror down and work with it on the floor and then um, get the caulk gun and go ahead and glue these on and keep them all in place. And then we will probably sand it out after that and paint it. So here we go. Okay, here's step one. Um, I have the door down here on the ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure it and then start making the cuts or marking off where I'm gonna make the cuts. So it looks like the door is slightly over 
20 inches. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and make the cut uh, right at 20 and a half, 20.5. So that should give me a little bit of buffer. <music> This one is kind of sticking out. I don't know if you can tell. Um, I do have some more pieces to choose from, so if this one's bowed a little bit, I might choose it. But I'm going to go ahead and sand all of this down and fill it, um, any of the splits, with um, a little bit of wood repair. And then let that dry and get this all nice and probably glue it down. a little bit more and now it is time for sanding and then wood filler sanding again and then painting but it um, it looks great I think it's gonna look really good once it's painted <laughs> you can see like a little bit of the mirror right there just because some pieces lay a little bit flatter than others but other than that I think it's pretty good so sanding time also Obviously Bondo is great, but this stuff <laughs> surprisingly works shockingly well. And I think it's so cheap. It's probably like, from what I remember, like two or three bucks. <laughs> and it's just a giant jar of powder. So it's a giant jar of this powder and you mix it with water just ever so slightly in order to make like a gravy kind of paste. And then it dries rock solid <laughs> and then you can, um, sand it and paint it and do all the things. So it is pretty crazy. Highly recommend. I finished uh, sanding off the edges. So you can see they're nice and straight now. And now I just mixed up a little bit of this putty and I'm gonna apply it to the very ends of these um, because I'm not the sloppiest. I mean, I probably am the sloppiest at um, cutting these. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and just dab it on there. And then once it dries, which shouldn't be too long, I can sand it out. And then we will paint it, which is the last step. So now it's going to be time to sand it out. I'm going to use a fine grit sandpaper. I have a 220. So I'm going to sand that out and then uh, we're going to spray it. has been drying for quite some time now. So I'm gonna take it inside and hang it. Here we go. Okay, I got it all mounted and I'm ready to show you. I do love how it turned out. Here we go. And there you go. Man, I just feel like it's so much more like easy on the eye. It's just flowy right here. It kind of just breaks up the um, I guess like the harsh box because it has like some of these rounded edges now so I feel like it that just even the shape of it goes a lot better with the rest of the bathroom but it's really vibing now and I really like it um, I kind of feel like it needs like a little drawer pull but I'm not 
entirely sure how I would attach it as there is still a mirror on the back side of this. So another day, another project, but I'm really happy with it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. You might have noticed there was no video last week and that is because there is something um, much more consuming that took place last week and that was the launch of my fall shop. I do a shop every single year where I put a lot of um, time into creating some fun goodies for fall. Um, so I like to do something a little bit different every year, but I want to show you a couple of the things just as a teaser of what are now on my fall shop. Again, it launched last Tuesday, so it's really exciting. Um, feel free to check it out. I'll put the link to my shop in the description, but here is a mug that I created um, and it has a bunch of fall spices on it. It's like I guess you would say almost like pumpkin spices, but here's clove, nutmeg, it has anise, um, it has cinnamon sticks, and it's just really cute. Um, has little measuring spoons. So this mug is a um, great gift for a baker in your life. <laughs> um, or somebody who really likes the taste of fall. Um, I also have a new print in my shop and then I'll show you another one that's just you know it's just a good one but this is a new one it says um, I would send you a bouquet of newly sharpened pencils if I knew your name and address so super cute I'm gonna frame that and then um, I just ordered this it's been in my shop for quite some time but just thought you could appreciate it it is a print of the shop around the corner which is always just so cute. This is the one in springtime. I do have one where it takes place in Christmas time because um, it's really cute. But I do have some other stuff that I will be showing you uh, shortly. Um, I have some sweatshirts. I've got some hats. I've got some other prints. I've got blankets. Um, I've got a lot of fun stuff to check out in fall shop. So make sure that you head over there and check it out. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's video um, with that transformation of my bathroom cabinet. It's, uh, it's, it's making me happy <laughs> right now. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, maybe share it with a friend and make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss a video. I'll be back next week with some more content for you. Um, always doing new projects around here. So you'll, uh, have to wait and see when we come up with next week. See you guys later. Bye. What a wonderful What a wonderful world